Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Damian Fisher, uh, PharmD. I also have a certified asthma educator uh, background as well. Inhalers are very important, and I think today we're going to be going over four different, uh, four separate different inhaler devices, uh, more commonly used for our COPD patients. Let's get started. First inhaler we'll be talking about is called an HFA device. Now, HFA devices are available in albuterol, uh, Provental, also Simbacort, and many, many, other uh, many other drugs as well. But HFA devices are pretty much the number one inhaler that came out uh, uh, before all inhalers. Now, if, let me orient you to a couple things. You have the mouthpiece, you're also gonna have some type of dose counter. Now, what you notice with your albuterol and provincials, that dose counter might be at the back of the device as well. What you wanna do is make sure you hold your HFA device, uh, HFA device with one thumb underneath and two fingers at the top. Now, for those people that have bigger fingers, you might wanna use one finger at the top, one thumb underneath. The, first, the, the next step you wanna do is make sure you shake. Why are we shaking the device? Is because we wanna mix the propellant and the actual drug together in order to get the, uh, the full dose of the device appropriately. You also wanna make sure there's nothing clogging the device as well. Right there, nothing clogging the mouthpiece device. Now, once you shake it, you wanna make sure you shake the device, breathe in, breathe out, away from the device, and then you wanna make sure your mouth is around this white part, the mouthpiece part. Make sure your mouth is fully around it and you wanna press down on the canister when you breathe in. Now, when you breathe in, you wanna breathe in slow and deep, slow and deep. So, you're gonna shake it first, Breathe in, breathe out, away from the device. Press down the canister. Breathe in slow and deep. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Now, if you need to take a second inhalation, you wanna make want to wait one minute in between each inhalation. Why do you do that? You wanna make sure you're able to inhale the drug appropriately. Your lungs can only inhale so much of the drug at one time. So when you do the steps again, you wanna make sure you do those steps, but you wait one minute in between. And then <clears throat> for cleaning purposes, you wanna make sure you use some type of damp or dry cloth to make sure you clean out this part about once a week. Next device we'll go over, this is called the discus device. Now, this is one of the first dry powder inhalers to hit the market. Think about, when you think about dry powder inhalers, there are more dry powder inhalers on the market than any other device on the market. Now, as you can see, it's a disc, right? Couple things about dry powder inhalers. You never shake them. That's the first thing. Since this is a discus, you always want to hold the disc horizontally. Now, look out, look, look how it is. Also, you see there is a small dose counter right there. That's how most discus uh, inhalers look like. You want to make sure you hold it horizontally. Now, how am I going to breathe out of this? You're going to take your thumb and you're going to take your thumb and you're going to push it till you hear a click. And once you hear a click, now you have exposed the mouthpiece and the lever of the device. The lever is gonna actually allow you to load the dose. Now, since the mouthpiece, mouthpiece is exposed, you now want to turn the device to your mouth and also showing that the lever is on the right-hand side of the right-hand side of the device. Now, you wanna use your thumb to basically load the dose. Once you load the dose, you're pressing down on the lever like so, till you hear a click, that dose is now loaded. At this time, you need to make sure the device is horizontal and you do not shake it because that device, that dose is now right here. Now, anytime you breathe into it or you shake it, you could lose the, lose the whole entire dose or decrease the dose that's getting into your lungs. You want to make sure you hold it like a sandwich. You want to breathe in and breathe out and never breathe into it because it's a dry powder inhaler. Breathe in, breathe out away from the device put your mouth to the device, and since it's a dry pound inhaler, you wanna breathe in fast and deep, fast and deep, because it takes a lot of force to inhale all that powder. So breathe in and breathe out away from the device, hold it like a sandwich, put your mouth to it. <clears throat> and then you wanna make sure you uh, hold your breath for 10 seconds. Then you wanna make sure you then close the device by using the grip again, and now the device is closed, and there's a dose counter right there to make sure that you have lost the dose. With dry pop inhalers, you want to make sure you clean, you clean the mouthpiece of any residue and make sure there's no clogging as well. Again, about any uh, once, a, once, once a week with a dry, never a damp cloth because it's a dry pop inhaler, but with a dry cloth. Now, this is another dry powder inhaler. This is called the Ellipta device. Actually, this is the newest device 
on the market, uh, the newest dry powder inhaler on the market. Now, a couple of things I want to orient you to is look how big that dose counter is compared to your other dose counters and other inhalers. It's really good, especially for those mature individuals that have a hard time seeing the dose. This is a really good dose counter for patients that have a hard time seeing the dose. And then also notice that this one has a covering. So you can't see the mouthpiece, kind of like the discus one, but it's a little different. We're gonna actually show you how different it is. And then lastly, <clears throat> when you take down the mouthpiece, you also wanna also want to let you know there are vents right here. And we'll let you know why that's important. Now, when you're using this device, you wanna keep the device vertical. When you keep the device vertical, you wanna make sure now you load the device. Well, how do you do that? Well, you take the mouthpiece cover down and you hear a click. So one more time, take the mouthpiece cover down and you hear a click. The dose is now loaded. Now, if you keep doing this, you keep losing the dose. So once you do this, one time, the dose is now loaded, it's ready for you to use. You flip it like a sandwich. Now, the other thing is you wanna make sure you never cover the vents while inhaling the dose. You never cover the vents while inhaling the dose. So when you flip it like a sandwich, notice that my fingers are not covering the vents. You wanna breathe in, breathe out, away from the device, put your mouth on the mouthpiece area, this dark gray area, and then you wanna make sure it's a dry palate inhaler, so you wanna make sure you breathe in fast and deep. So one more time, hold the device vertical, load the dose, the dose is now loaded, hold it like a sandwich, breathe in and breathe out away from it, put your mouth to it, breathe in fast and deep, Hold your breath for 10 seconds. And now cover the device. So once you now cover the device, the device is now ready for the next dose to be released. Now with a dry pot inhaler, you wanna get a wash, uh, make sure you cover the, um, sorry, wash the uh, mouthpiece area, again, about once a week or with, a, uh, with a dry rag or a dry cloth. Um, again, with the lifted device, the biggest thing you need to orient yourself with I mean, understand is make sure when you inhale the device, you do not put your fingers over the vent while inhaling the device because that could not that, that would allow you not getting the full dose of the actual drug coming into your into your lungs. Now, this is the RespiMap device, or called the soft mist inhaler. Now, with the soft mist inhaler, there's a couple of things you're gonna have to look at. One, notice that this has a covering, a mouthpiece covering. So also notice that there is a dose counter. Now, it's not as, as specific as other dose counters, but there is a lever right here that goes up and down to show you uh, how many doses are around about left. And then notice that there is an arrow right there. That arrow is to tell you how to load the dose and you're gonna load the dose counterclockwise. So I always tell my patients to hold the device vertical. To load the dose, I'm gonna follow the arrow signs and the arrow signs say, come this way counterclockwise. So when I load the dose, I turn the bottom of the base of the dose, uh, turn, turn the bottom of the base of the device, and now the dose is loaded. I wanna make sure that the dose button is now pointed to the ceiling. Once the dose button is pointed to the ceiling, you then wanna take the mouthpiece guard off. When you take the mouthpiece guard off, this allows you to now press on the dose uh, button in order to release the dose. Now, when releasing the dose, if, uh, when releasing the dose, you want to make sure you release it when the when your mouth is to the mouthpiece. So the dose is now loaded. You want to breathe in, breathe out away from the uh, away from the device. You also want to make sure your lips do not go past these slits right here on the device. You want to hold it like a sandwich. Breathe in, uh, breathe in, and breathe out away from the device. Put your mouth to the device, and then when you inhale it, it's going to come out like a soft mist, just like that. You then wanna put the cap back on like so. So one more time real quick, make sure the device is vertical, um, load the dose. You hear a click, the dose is now loaded. Put the uh, cap off, hold it like a sandwich. Now you can press down on the dose counter, not yet, not yet. Breathe in, breathe out away from it. Put your mouth to the device, not over the slits like so. And then you wanna make sure you press down on the button to inhale the device. Hold your breath for about 10 seconds. And now with this device, you wanna make sure you breathe in slow and deep, slow and deep, because it's not a dry powder. So slow and deep, hold your breath for 10 seconds, put the cap back on, and you're ready for the next dose. 
I totally get it. Inhalers are difficult. And, you know, you're, when you're at home, you're using the drug, you're using this device all by yourself, even after someone may have taught you. And I get it, it can be frustrating. And I and sometimes you're like, oh, I don't taste the drug, so I don't know if I'm actually getting better. Or sometimes I don't feel like I'm getting better. And you have hesitancy whether or not the device is actually working for you. Don't be afraid to reach out. Uh, you can go to your local pharmacy. You can go to the American Lung Association uh, website. You can also go to AARC website. Um, device uh, device teaching, the device education is there for you. Do not be afraid to reach out to get help in order to understand how to use these how to use these devices appropriately. Thank you so much, and I hope this video was very helpful.